name is Jason Patterson. I'm a foot and ankle specialist at Ortho Arizona. When someone has uh, comes to me with ankle arthritis and they've, they've tried the injections and bracing and they, they are getting ready for surgery, one of the questions they often ask me is, do you recommend surgery? And I, what I often tell them, I, I kind of flip the question back on them and I tell them, you tell me when you're ready. Usually I, I uh, recommend doing ankle replacement when the non-surgical treatment hasn't worked anymore and the ankle pain and arthritis is interfering with your quality of life, whether that's walking the dog or going on a hike or playing pickleball, whatever it may be. And so when that patient's ready for an ankle replacement surgery, the first thing I do is we go over risk assessment. Just like any joint replacement, ankle replacement does have risk. And patients that are at higher risk for ankle replacement typically are active smokers, patients with um, uncontrolled diabetes with an A1C of over 7.5, um, obesity is a little bit controversial, but we think that a BMI of over 40 or a morbidly obese person might be a slightly higher risk of an ankle replacement, uh, history of vascular disease and all those things. So once, once we assess the risk and the patient and I still feel comfortable that the risk um, is low enough and the surgery uh, warrants proceeding with the, with the risk, then, then we, we start doing our planning. And for me, I need, I need the x-rays in the office to do the preoperative planning, so I get ankle x-rays, I get um, alignment x-rays of the ankle from the, from the ankle all the way up to the hip. I have to pay attention to the alignment, not only of the ankle, but of the, of the knee as well when I put the implant in. And then the last piece of the puzzle, or the last piece of information I typically need is a CT scan. And what the CT scan does is it'll, it'll, it'll allow us to make 3D printed models of that patient's anatomy. So here's a, here's a model of, the, of a patient that I've done. This is a 3D printed model of their tibia, the shin bone. Um, and this is the guide that comes with it. And so in the operating room, we sterilize these and the guide is designed to lock in and fit that patient's anatomy perfectly. And what this guide does is allows me to make sure that the ankle replacement goes in perfectly straight. So we plan this whole surgery um, on a computer program prior to surgery, and with these patient-specific cut blocks that, that they're called, the um, precision and accuracy has greatly improved. And that is very important to make sure we, we put the ankle replacement in a good alignment so that the ankle replacement will last as long as it possibly can. Which then leads me to another qu question I often get is how long does the ankle replacement last? The bottom line is nobody knows. You know, nobody knows the answer with hip replacement or knee replacement. Some joints are, are out there that have been put in 30 years ago and they're still doing fine. And so some implants can go 15, 20, 30 years or longer. The factors that typically um, increase the longevity of the implant is whether or not the implant is put in straight uh, and put in the correct position. Like I mentioned before, we gotta make sure that the ligaments are balanced and that's important. Um, and then, you know, patients ask me, what can I do after ankle replacement? Can I run? Can I play pickleball? Can I hike? Can I play tennis? Can I run a marathon? Again, the short answer to that question is nobody knows. And so I don't usually tell patients, absolutely, you can't do something or you can do something. What we think uh, happens though, is that if you do a lot of high impact activity, which would be running, jumping, basketball, those kind of sports, um, it, it probably will shorten the life of the implant and it may wear it out faster. But again, we don't, we don't know that for certain. So what I tell patients is you're getting the replacement to improve your quality of life. If your goals and your desires are to go back and play basketball and run and play tennis, then I would say do it. Just do it in moderation and, and we got to keep a close eye on your implant with yearly x-rays to make sure that we're not noticing any early signs of failure. And so that's, that's kind of the current recommendation, at least in my practice, the current recommendation uh, on, on what I do. So once we get these 3D printed blocks, and, and here's another one of the talus bone. This is the other part of the, the joint below the ankle. And again, there's a cut block that goes with that that sits right on there and fits in with the anatomy perfectly, locks right in. And this, this is often very accurate in the operating room. This, I, I rarely find that these blocks don't key in to the patient's t t uh, tibia and talus perfectly like they do these blocks and it really helps me um, with, uh, with speed and efficiency in the operating room, which is important, and accuracy, as I mentioned.
So once once a patient has these cut blocks and we schedule them for surgery, then we we bring them uh, we bring them to the operating room. It's usually uh, an outpatient surgery, believe it or not. Most patients go home the same day. It's rare that anyone spends a night in the hospital, but there there is that option. Um, I keep them non weight bearing for roughly three weeks after surgery. Uh, sometimes it's two weeks, and then after two to three weeks, they're walking on it, and then they're out of the boot after about six weeks and back into their regular shoes. And one of my favorite questions to ask patients at six weeks is how does your ankle feel now compared to how it felt before surgery? And almost everybody says it feels better, which is very rare for a big surgery like this to feel better after just six weeks. So that's one of the reasons I love doing ankle replacements is just to see patients face and their joy and getting their life back after just six weeks. Sometimes it can take three to six months to fully recover. Um, and so I don't, I don't set that tone that everyone at six weeks is going to be great, but, but just, but, but it's very rare to have someone who, who doesn't just love their ankle replacement and was very happy that they had it done. One thing that's probably important with, with joint replacement, this has been shown in knees and hips and ankles, is to get your surgery done by a surgeon that does a lot of them. Uh, they show that if you do 10 or less replacements a year, your outcomes are not as good as someone who does a higher volume of joint replacement. So we're fortunate here at, at North Arizona to be able to do a lot of joint replacement and ankle replacements. So we have a high volume practice and certainly over the last you know, you know, years it's been growing and that's really, I think, improved our understanding of the surgery, the nuances, the, the post-op recovery, the therapy, the risk, and, and it's really helped with the success of the surgery and uh, really helped with patient satisfaction.